Hello, I'm Detective Richard Encinas. On Friday, June 24, 2022, Mesa police officers patrolling on East University Avenue witnessed a man jaywalking in the street and nearly get hit by a car. Officers stopped the man, identified as 54-year-old Paul Newman. You take a seat right here, man. We're talking to you because you jaywalked, man. You almost got hit. I don't know if you noticed. As Newman squatted down by the chain link fence, the officer, officer noticed a bulge on Newman's right side. He alerted the other officer who was with him. I did this straight across, though. Hey, do you have a gun on you? No, sir. I did this straight across, like you said. What's that on the left, on, on the left hand side? Don't reach for it. Put your hands on your head. The first officer approached Newman as the second officer remained several feet back. The officer told Newman that it looked like he had a gun and pointed to his right side. You, man. Put your hands on your head, please. Why? Because it looks like you have a gun right there. And it, and if Newman reaches with his right hand to his rear waistband and starts to stand up. The first officer was standing right next to Newman and reaches for Newman's hands while asking Newman what he has. That's not it. I'm going to show you the gun. Look. Okay, chill out. I'm going to show you the gun. Man. Don't shoot me. I got a gun. What shoot. do you have? I ain't got a gun. Don't. Newman reaches with both hands towards his waistband and pulls out a handgun and fires one round. That's when the second officer shot back. I ain't got a gun. Don't make me shoot. Don't make me shoot. As you can see, this all occurred in a matter of seconds. Here's that video again, and slow down so you can better follow the movements. Why? Because it looks like you have a gun right there, and, and if that's not it... Here is the video from the second officer's body-worn camera. What do you have? I ain't got a gun. Don't make me Don't make Upon seeing the flash and hearing the gunshot from Newman's gun, the second officer pulled his duty weapon and fired multiple rounds. Simultaneously, the officer that had approached Newman saw the gun in his hand, began backing up, and fired his duty weapon. Both officers took cover by the patrol car while waiting for backup officers. 1998, we're south of 81st. When those officers Get back in the vehicle. an action team was formed and Newman was giving commands. Newman did not respond to the commands, so a less lethal beanbag round was deployed. Hey, listen to me. Do not reach for the gun. Do you understand me? Do not reach for the gun. Roll away from the gun. Let me switch out with him. Hey, look. Come on. I got a taser behind you if you want to hold another Don't move! I'll give him verbals. Roll on your stomach! I got him Roll on your stomach! You need to roll on your stomach for us. Do not reach for the gun. We see the gun there. Do not reach for it. Once secured, officers rendered aid to Newman, and he was taken to the hospital and recovered from his injuries. Keep your hands right where they're at. Okay? Do not move! We're going to give you some first aid. You understand? On-scene investigators recovered a 45 caliber handgun. The gun had one round in the chamber, several, several rounds in the magazine, and there was a spent 45 casing in the area where Newman fired his gun. A smaller Derringer-type handgun was also recovered from Newman's pocket. In Newman's backpack, investigators uncovered large quantities of methamphetamine, heroin, and pills. Newman is facing multiple charges, including aggravated assault, prohibited possessor, drug charges, and an outstanding felony warrant.